we are in Europe, so of course not all the Americans are allowed to speak here. What's that? I say we are in Europe, so of course not only people from America will speak here. Um, I come to the next and last lecturer, Mary Neville. She will speak about youth and survival involvement in services, education, administration, and political decision making. Since years, we hear wonder stories from England um, about um, involvement of youth survivors, paid involvement, <laughs> we have really paid there, not only get a little money to pay their tickets when they go somewhere. And Mary will explain her journey from being a passive recipient of violence and custody for her own good to being enabled to speak at this event on cooperation and understanding. And she will explain why the radical change from coercion to cooperation would be better for anyone's mental health. Mary Neville lives in England, is the chair of the European Network of Users, Sex Users and Survivors of Psychiatry. I'm very glad that she's here. She comes from her neighborhood, from England. It's very close, if you look at the globe. And um, all her other roles and functions, she will explain in her contribution now by herself. Welcome. to go anywhere, to talk to anybody, 
and also to look at people's records. And what is amazing about this is that as a, as a user survivor, you're not allowed to see your own records, but with this job I can see everybody else's, and if I'm clever I could go to my own hospital and look at my own records, but of course I don't. <laughs> Um, another thing I do is I work with um, a group called Evolve, which is a group of service users, carers and workers from voluntary organisations, health and social service managers and researchers, which advises the British government on how to ensure the service user voice is heard by those undertaking health, social care and public health research. And this, I think, is the best bit of what's happening in the UK. There's a lot of not so good things, but user involvement in search is actually very well supported. I mean, it could be better, but it, it, we, are, we are the leaders, I think, in this, in this respect. Um, and we have, and you can have a look at this, but this is the public information pack, uh, which they've just brought out, which gives absolutely everything the public could, could want to know how to get involved in the search, because this is probably just not not just mental health services. So that's that. Also, they have it in a box, and they wish it to be recyclable friendly, and it falls apart. The, 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 so good. Um, what else do I do? Oh, finally, I work with the Healthcare Commission, and the Commission, so forget about these names, but they're all government type bodies, okay? Working with the Healthcare Commission and the Commission for Social Care Inspection, which inspects and reviews health and social care facilities. So again, more inspecting stuff. And also voluntary work, which takes up more time than any of this, is being chair of the European Network of Users and Survivors. And also, through that, a member of the Disabled Women's Committee at the European Disability Forum. And that is just a very short snapshot of the sort of things that I do, and I'm enabled to do in England, or enable myself to do, I should say. I'm very good at putting myself down, by the way. Um, so, I've now written a couple of pages, but we are sure I'm in time. Um, basically, what I talked about a little while ago was a long title for a short talk. And there are four areas to cover. User involvement in services, education, administration, and political decision making. Of course, like mine, these areas are linked, so it is a false distinction to distinguish to, to distinguish between more. I understand what is meant by services, that is, all services provided for people in the area where they live. Some may be mental illness specific, i.e. psychiatric hospital, but others will be for everyone, as a, pers uh, as a person may need extra support because they have been described as having a mental illness or disability i.e. supported living, um, and then there are services provided for the, for the community, the swimming pools, the libraries, which we, as mental health service users, have every right to use. Then there is education. Um, this means for me, though people talk about going to schools and educating people, but this is for me, service users involved in educating and training mental health workers. There's been quite a lot about this here. Usually these the, the, um, mental health workers are now considered to be highly educated and most people have to get their skills at universities. There is, it's very, um, if you're a social worker, you now have to have a degree at university. If you're a nurse, you now have to have a degree at university in England. I'm involved in the social work and nurse training programs, but I'm still trying to find a way into training psychiatrists. Uh, the World Psychiatric Association could take a lead here. The Royal College of Psychiatrists, which is the sort of WPA in England, um, what did I say? in the UK, has put service users into the curriculum, but I have not seen any evidence for it happening yet. But I may be just be in the wrong place. Because um, there's lots of people who live in England, lots of service users who live in England, I can't expect to know everything. I think I expect myself to know everything, but I don't. Um, <clears throat> and then administration and policy making go together as the workers implement the policy. This is the most difficult area to influence as the political climate can change and be very influenced by the media or seem to be unaccountable. 
and changing over time. This is a, a, what I consider to be a really good document, User Participation in Community Care Services, which is 1993. All about equal, everybody's equal, etc. And we're still talking about user involvement and everybody being equal in 2000 and what have we got, seven. And I'm sure we'll be talking the same. And it'd be lovely to think we might be going to, a, like uh, our colleague has already said, a new place, but we all seem to be wishing things for the future. Anyway, um, in the UK currently, the political climate is unfavourable to true user involvement. It is two-faced, uh, promoting choice and then bringing out amendments to an old 1983 mental health bill. The process of consultation has been long and involved, but in the end, totally meaningless to service users. Many pounds have been spent, and it is likely that we will end up with revised legislation which suits no one and will not protect our right to choose. Human rights seem not to apply to us. Um, and there's an article in the Times newspaper, which was also in um, <coughs> the, the Mail on Sunday, which is quite a right-wing news newspaper, says the government has secretly set up um, a VIP, very important person, stalker squad, to identify and detain terrorists and other individuals who pose a threat to prominent people. Um, the Mail then went on to say, why isn't it a threat to everybody? Why do only prominent people need protection? Okay. The unit, staffed by police and psychiatrists, will have the power to detain suspects indefinitely using mental health laws. And it goes on to give lots of information about it. And, you know, what country are we in? This is England, the cradle of democracy. And uh, it, it makes you despair, and it's because of the terrorism threat, they use that as the excuse for everything. Mm. So, the good news, the good news is the bit I already said about the user-led research. That is, is providing an evidence base, and the people who fund a large part of the, um, the UK research programme, which, because we have this wonderful National Health Service, we're all meant to be ever so grateful for being research participants. Uh, and apparently it's, we are an asset that can be sold to the drug company. <laughs> um, anyway, but, so again, it's two, you know, two, two, two talking on two sides, um, because it's, uh, it's very peculiar. And the, the, the good news is there are some very good people, you know, there are some very good people working in the mental health services or in the mental health policy bit in, in the UK who really want user views to be heard within the research process and have made, uh, trying to make sure that any research proposal that goes to the big funders, which is the NHS on the whole, does have um, you, true user involvement in it. Now, it's not, of course, it's not working terribly well because academics haven't got a clue what user involvement is. So then, of course, we have to go and train. And there's Diana here who's been part of a very pioneering institute within the Institute of Psychiatry in London, which is the cradle of training doctors and trying ever so hard to, to do her thing with her team. But, you know, we get absolutely tired out doing all this because we think we've made an advance and then we haven't. And it's, it's actually, there's a lot of us in that we're a very crowded, small country and luckily we connect and, and, and whatever, but it's, it's, I try to be positive, think positive, mm. but when we, we have this mental health law and community treatment orders and all the stuff in the media about how we're dangerous and at risk, and it's quite tricky. Mm. Right, is that it? Mm. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask me a question. <laughs> I think because I, I put, what I put, what I put down here is, History of time. <laughs> and I don't think I've got time for this. What is the, what is that, what do, what do you say that is the reason that you are in the United Kingdom, what a people, and they came to that school? 
What are the factors? That we're defeated? Yeah. We see if you'll see it as a defeat. Yeah, no, no, no. We're, we're not defeated. We're just resting after a battle and then we'll come back. Um, and, you know, we do... What Peter said about being paid for our involvement is the case. We do, we do sometimes, not often. But, again, <laughs> that has been at a high level and now more people do it, though they say there's not enough money and it's come down to a lower level. But it, there, we have a document which is well, very complicated because of our welfare benefit laws, but called Reward and Recognition, which is an official government document which demonstrates that people should be valued for their time as well as their opinions. So it's an area just designed for neighboring countries. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. This was the end of the presentation. There is now time for discussion. There are some um, people who record, and if anybody has um, uh, a rejection that there is here somebody who will record, um, he or she has to say, then the re records will stop. Um, but if you agree that the discussion is taped and recorded, then we can go on and use the time for discussion. So, sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say, as I was, I'm from your neighboring country in Ireland, and I, I have contact with England, and I think the Superior Network is very good at that in England. And I think out of the Superior Network, we're, they're beginning to, uh, uh, they're about a, a place now where people can come off the psychiatric drugs and that's what they can Thank you. Uh, as with all these wonderful initiatives, people can talk, but the actual Money and practicalities is. I think they're very good. Very good idea. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Did you say they make them all talk at once? Yeah. Um, a question for Peter Stanley. Can you talk a bit more about um, Intuar's? Um, how, you, you described it, you described the plan for New York City, but can you, can you talk about into our in a more global sense? What are, are there are what projects are actually functioning? What projects are in formative stages? Well, Intuar has met the group has met three times since two thousand five. The, the idea behind it is is to collect uh, a group of rather rare uh, phenomena phenomena that we all cherish and that we all talk about all the time, but that once you start counting, you find out that the numbers are actually rather small. Uh, so the idea is to concentrate the wisdom and the effort and to network and to provide a platform for more uh, you know, information to be disseminated and possibly some